Welcome to Make a Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today let's talk The Walking Dead Whisper War Part 3, Issue 159. We got the standard cover and the glorious, glorious, I couldn't wait for this because I love my Andrea, especially in her Andrea, sorry, especially in her new beginning uh, uniform outfit design. Oh, so sexy, so hot, so damn cool. Anyway, this is going to be like a reaction slash review. This is the whole kablam all in one shot. I am uploading a video where we take a look at the Walking Dead Rick Grimes coloring book. I show off pretty much almost every single page. I made it a little bit long so that way I can persuade some people to uh, purchase that if they're interested because I'm hoping they continue with that. I think there's a lot of images and you can use that for a lot of different things, not just a coloring book. Anyway, with that said, let's pull out issue 159 and let's have a go. I will say I do know something that's sad and tragic because everyone posted it and sent me messages before the fucking issue was released, so... <sighs> All right. How apps are fucking lootly flattering. Negan, how the fuck did you let him kick you? Catch. Oh, yeah. That's a fucking cool panel. That's cool. You are no fucking fun at all. <laughs> Negan got cut, but it was on his coat. I like that. Goodbye, Lucille. <laughs> I tell you what, Robert Kirkman, I bet AMC can't wait for this to happen, but Robert Kirkman is probably like, this is gold. I get to kill Lucille, tease a, a major death, and then play along that it was Lucille. But also, Negan can make a second Lucille, and boom, they got all new merchandise. <laughs> they could do a different color bat, you know, something different, I don't know. Oh, man. The art. Oh, I love it. The art and the Whisper of War. I mean, Charlie Adler's art. I have been loving and appreciating it for a while now, but some of the images are just breathtaking. I mean, the style, just, man, I love it. Like, this panel alone, man, you could just sell panels of, like, walker herds, you know? Ah, oh, man. Call it iconic herds or some shit like that, you know? Something. Wow. <laughs> Little bitch dropped a bombshell, huh? Yikes. I'm going to pause a moment. I have one problem with Rick and uh, his leadership during this war. If you don't have any line of communication between your battlefield and your headquarters where you're making the plans, why don't you have like two or three of your fastest horses with your fastest riders on standby so you can have them ride to the battlefield, scope out what's going on, ride back, give you some news. If Dwight's men were being slaughtered, if they were all killed, you know what I'm saying? Rick and them would have no clue that a whole massive herd is on their way to slaughter them because there's no one, you know, relaying any messages back and forth. Hmm, maybe Sophia and Carl belong together after all. Holy fuck. One page, nine panels, respect level for, what's his name? William. Respect for William just shot up. Fucking like that guy. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. The stuff they're doing with Fear the Walking Dead, if I could just point this out, the reason why I get so frustrated with a uh, little bit of blood and then they walk freely all around and zombies don't even hesitate is simply because in the comic, it, they make it more realistic. They make it more dangerous. Even the whispers, they whisper. They are careful, even all suited up. They're careful to maneuver themselves to the edge of the herd so they don't draw attention to themselves, like unnecessary attention. Uh, that captures the tension, and it still makes it feel dangerous, even though they're safe because they're camouflaged. On Fear the Walking Dead, I don't feel any tension whatsoever because they've made it abundantly clear that all they do is put a little blood on their face, and when they want them to be safe, they're safe. I just want to point that out because it will be inconsistent later on when we get to the whispers on the TV show, which is something if they don't do, they failed in a major way. The whispers are made for TV. They are epicness just waiting to happen. If you thought The Walking Dead was popular now, wait till the whispers get on TV. Fucking telling you what. If done right, holy shit. <laughs> Thunk. That was badass. I like that. Dwight is, he's fucking badass and smart. Dwight is gonna become the first whisper. Fucking love it, man. Fucking love it. 
Man, I like that. I like this issue. I fucking love this issue. Uh, for the Whisper of War, I'm giving you guys the reaction while reading it, kind of goofing around and talking about what's on my mind as I'm reading it, and then also the review part, which we're going to get into right now. Uh, but I have to say, I love the design of this. I think the storytelling for the Whisper of War, it's nice, it's tight, everything feels like it means something and something important. They do something right here in this issue that I really like where it feels like there's something major that happens in the first few pages and that's Lucille breaking yes it's a bat yes Negan overreacted because he has this emotional connection to the bat uh, we get that connection we get his backstory we see what he went through with his wife and cancer and at the hospital and then naming his bat Lucille and then look at that we get that backstory plus this happening all when it's fresh and hot and I think that was perfect and again Kirkman has a good eye for capitalizing on story when it's important uh, and when it, it benefits the story by fleshing it out more. So we get that in the beginning and then we also get the cliffhanger at the end, obviously, which we finally get survivors wearing a skin. Now, this is one of those awesome moments that's kind of disappointing. Now, I do know that I want to see Rick leading the way. I want him to be king, giving the orders out, you know, making the plans, making the preparations, yada, yada, yada ruling shit and then we can see the other people like Dwight and other characters they can be on the battlefield in the front lines but I kind of in a way miss that it's not Rick Grimes here in the battle putting on the whisper uh, mask I kind of really miss that in a way however I love that it's Dwight I think Dwight's stepping up in a major way with uh, a good head on his shoulders setting a good plan uh, picking off the whispers, separating the herd, and then picking off the whispers, and now he's putting on the costume. I like that. We're going to see a few more. Now, the problem here, though, is communication. Will they be able to tell the others that they're putting on the whisperer gear? Are they going to be able to camouflage themselves enough? Are they going to steer the herd? I mean, that's all coming up next in the uh, next issue, I'm assuming. But we have Beta, who, like I said in the previous issue, there's no, we there's no way they're going to kill him off now but they need to take him off the battlefield and that's what we get we get a defeated beta negan defeated him i thought beta was going to defeat negan i'll be honest not kill him but i thought it would be a good battle but uh beta would get the upper hand because he seems like such a savage you know but negan isn't fucking around so his men carry him off the battlefield that's whispers carry beta off the battlefield and now they leave us with some mystery they amp it up like beta's face is scarred or something they don't want or beta doesn't want anyone looking at his face because he kills a guy over it so that gives us some more mystery something else for us fans to talk about now the battle was vicious it's cool and they got some amazing artwork I'm looking through it again, and I love it. Man, I love it. Especially that panel I showed you guys before. Man, I really love that artwork. And then we go over to Lydia and Carl. Now, this is hard. This is tough because they've been going in one direction with Lydia and Carl, and we've just just been blindly accepting it, you know? And I'll admit, too, like, I fell for the same trap Carl did. I thought Lydia was head over heels, like, she wants Carl, that's her place, yada, yada, yada. But this felt real. As she was saying it, I was like, oh, truth bomb. I respect it that she's not, you know, beating around the bush or pretending here and she's being honest. She's like, listen, I'm not in love. This isn't puppy love. This isn't yada, yada, yada. Uh, maybe I'm not capable of that. Maybe I am, but I just don't want it with you. I'm not yada, yada, yada. But she still says it in a sugarcoating way. She's like, we can still spend time together, which means we can still bone. We can still be friends. We can still hang out, yada, yada, yada. But uh, as far as being in love and her being his girl, yeah, she's letting him know that if she wants the D from somewhere else, she's going to get it. Vincent, how did I forget that? Man, he healed up pretty good. Wasn't he the one who got injured when they first met the Whispers? Anyway, poor bastard. He gets stabbed up and now he's walking it. He's hightailing it all the way back. So they're playing it smart. They want to kill Vincent before he can relay the message. The saviors, they might be still be a problem for Rick Grimes after the battle. Rick looks like he's drawn a little different here. Something stood out to me. I don't know what it was, but we see a little hint of Sophia here. She looked like she was going to talk to Carl, and then she said, ah, oh, forget about it. So there's still hope for those who like Carl and Sophia. There's still hope. Now, I was liking the look visually, the style, 
of Carl and Lydia, and then in the story, I kind of like that, you know, the outsider, and then getting with Carl, da, 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 da. but if she's not interested in it, then fuck it. William stepped it up hardcore, I talked about that before, I love that, I'm excited to see what's coming for the kingdom, and I want him to stay in charge, I want them to flesh out his character, I am really liking that. And I do like what they did with the Whispers. And again, I'm sticking by that. This is this is a perfect example. What they do in a comic book with the walkers, the walker pets, the herds, I think they maintain that dangerous atmosphere a lot better than they do in the TV show. Anyway, we got a badass ending here. The Survivors in Whisper gear. Now again, I'm hoping there's still that fan of inside me, the fan of Rick Grimes. I want to see Rick Grimes in Whisper outfit. You know, I want to see Negan in a Whisper outfit. And as a matter of fact, wasn't Negan supposed to be with Dwight at all times? Yeah, I don't see Negan, but I'm hoping that we get to see a Negan Whisper. That would be awesome. And you know what's cool too for the show? We are seeing a lot in Dwight, and I'm really hoping that we get to see a lot of comic Dwight. Dwight brought to the TV screen because I do think that so far the actor playing Dwight is doing a real good job so I'm definitely interested to see more in that anyway another great issue I love this and as far as the death of Lucille I want to see how that plays out because at this time it might just be to <laughs> create new merchandise I mean I think it's genius you know you bust up Lucille after introducing that backstory and now you got new merchandise anything at all give Negan a different weapon maybe that's interesting uh, I haven't thought about that much so you let me know do you want to see Negan with a different weapon do you want to see another Lucille if you collect the Lucille bats do you think this is a little bit of a cash grab to get another bat or do you think it fit in the story in an authentic way I'm 50 50 I think again I think this was Kirkman's way of saying holy shit I can do something that fits the story makes sense with the story plus on top of all that I can create new merchandise I love this issue I think the whisper of war is uh, definitely 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 a decent payoff at this time we haven't seen the end but it's a decent payoff to the build-up that they've started to do the setup for the whispers because the whisper the whole story from the new beginning to the whispers it's still my most enjoyable part of the whole overall story the whole new beginning and the whisper of war stuff is my all-time favorite section from the walking dead comic love this anyway thoughts and opinions down in that comment box what do you think of the third part to the whisper of war and look at it we got a lot it felt like and there's still three more parts to go do you think Lydia is gonna die is she a huge bitch what about Lucille is your heart breaking like Negan's are you a little pissed you're gonna have to buy Lucille too what do you think and how excited are you that we're gonna see heroes wearing whisperer masks I love that <laughs> Rick's got to get one though Rick needs one Negan needs one I love it What's going on with Maggie? I want more Maggie in the Whisperer War. Thoughts and opinions in the comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now.